We are talking about the future of cyber security and the big question, will the quantum internet finally end hacking? Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna discuss about the link between quantum internet and the cyber security, two hot topics out there in the market, why and what you need to be aware of the link between the two. We'll be discussing many informative concepts and terms during the video, so do watch till the end. We can't deny the fact in today's digital age, we live more and more of our lives online. From our bank accounts to our deepest secrets, it's all stored in the cloud, right? But what if I told you that the very foundation of our online security is facing the threat? In fact, some experts predict that within the next few years, everything we thought was safe online could be cracked open like an eggshell. Whether it's your password, banking accounts, your chats, or any digital assets. Sounds scary, right? Well, it is. But there's also a glimmer of hope on the horizon. A technology so revolutionary, it might just be the ultimate shield against cyber attacks. So without further ado, let's dive in. Before we can talk about the future, we need to understand what's happening in the present. Right now, the internet is a battlefield. Cyber criminals are constantly evolving their tactics and the headlines are filled with stories that should make us all sit up and pay attention. Think about it. Just recently in February 2024, Change Healthcare, a major processor of US medical claims, got hit by a massive ransomware attack. When I said massive, trust me, this wasn't just a minor inconvenience. It exposed sensitive data for a staggering 190 million people and cost their parent company billions of dollars. Imagine the sheer panic and chaos that it caused. And if you think it's just for the big corporations, I'm sorry, we all are vulnerable. Phishing attacks are becoming incredibly sophisticated. Look at this email. Too hard to identify if it's even real or fake. Many well-known YouTubers have also fell into this phishing attacks. Especially with the rise of AI that can craft email and even deep fake voices that look and sound completely real, it's getting harder and harder to tell what's genuine and what's a trap. Look at the surge in wishing, also known as voice phishing, we saw in the second half of 2024. These criminals are getting very creative. And then there's malware, over 1.2 billion malicious program lurking out there. From viruses to spyware, they're all designed to steal your information on your devices. Quick note, if you want to do a quick check that your PC is compromised or not, do check out this video after this. I'll leave the link in the description as well. And let's not forget DDoS attacks, which can cripple websites and online services, sometimes just to distract from other sneaky activities. Even something as seemingly innocuous as an API, which helps different online services talk to each other, has become a target for hackers looking to snatch your credit card details. And the complexity of supply chains means that even if a big company has great security, a smaller, less protected partner could be their weak link. It's not theoretical. These incidents are happening. The data breach at UK Ministry of Defense in May 2024, it started with a contractor's payroll system, which is a stark reminder of this. Till now, we have discussed a lot of threats. So what's the common thread here? A lot of our current security relies on encryption. Those complex mathematical codes that scramble our data to keep it safe. Algorithms like RSA and ECC are the gatekeepers of our digital world. But the thing is, the rise of quantum computers could potentially break these codes in a fraction of time it takes today's computer. It's like we've built these amazing digital fortresses, but now there's a super powered battering ram on the horizon. What's a digital citizen to do? Well, that brings us to the exciting part. Do not skip this part. I'm going to make a statement that might sound gibberish to you, but stick around, it'll make sense. Enter the quantum internet. Forget everything you know about regular internet bits, the quantum internet uses qubits. Let's grasp it rapidly. Now think of a regular light switch, it's either on or off. That 1 and 0 represents the bit. But a qubit is like a dimmer switch that can be on, off, or somewhere in between at the same time. That is superposition. It's like qubit hasn't quite decided whether to be a 0 or a 1 yet. And get this, qubits can also be linked together in a spooky way known as entanglement. Now imagine having two of those dimmer switches and no matter how far apart they are, when you change the setting on one, the other one instantly changes too. That's entanglement. What happens to one instantly affects the other, even if they are miles apart. Mind-blowing, right? One of the most promising applications of this quantum magic for cybersecurity is quantum key distribution. 
also known as QKD. Imagine being able to share the secret encryption key needed to scramble and unscramble your data in a way that's fundamentally unhackable. QKD uses laws of physics to do just that. If anyone tries to eavesdrop on the key exchange, the very act of trying to look at the quantum information will disturb it and it will immediately alert the sender and receiver. It's like having a built-in alarm system at the most fundamental level of communication. Now, before you think all our cybersecurity wars are over, QKD does have its limitations. It's not perfect. For example, sending those delicate photons over long distance can be tricky due to signal loss, and it often requires specialized hardware, which can be costly. Plus, QKD mainly focus on securing the key exchange, not necessarily the entire communication process. That's where post-quantum cryptography or PQC comes into play. These are new type of encryption algorithms designed to be resistant to attacks from both classical and you guessed it, quantum computers. Think of them as a next generation digital logs. The National Institute of Standard and Technology has been working hard to standardize these new algorithms with the first set of standards released in August 2024. So the experts are definitely taking this quantum threat seriously. But a common question may arise, when will these super powered quantum computers that can break our current encryption actually arrive? That's the million dollar question. And the truth is, experts have different opinions. Some predict it could happen within the next five years while others say it might take decades. What do you think? Do comment down below and let us know. The Global Risk Institute estimated a significant chance of such computer existing by 2034. It's a bit like waiting for a storm. We know it's coming, but we're not exactly sure when it will hit. So will the quantum internet be the ultimate superhero that swoops in and saves us from hacking villains? Or is it just another tool in the ongoing battle? While the quantum internet and technologies like QKD offer incredible potential for more secure communication, it's unlikely to be a complete magic bullet that ends all hacking. Some experts believe it will make hacking virtually impossible, but others caution that limitations of QKD and the potential for new attack methods, even on quantum networks, mean the threat will likely persist. Think about it. Even with the super secure quantum communication, we still need to verify who we are talking to. And as long as there are humans involved, there will be vulnerabilities. In fact, social engineering, manipulating people to give up information, remains one of the most common and effective attack methods. And this is especially true on social media. Hackers love social media because it's a treasure of personal information. They can use seemingly harmless details like your birthday, your pet's name, or your vacation photos to guess passwords or answer security questions. They create fake profiles to impersonate your friends or favorite brands and trick you into clicking malicious links or giving away your login credentials. I'm pretty sure you must have seen those fake game ads, posts and comments with investment opportunities or unbelievable giveaways. Those are classic social engineering tactics. They even use tools like HDTrack, WGET, HiddenEye, and SocialFish to clone legitimate websites and create convincing fake login pages. And once they compromise an account, they can send direct messages to all your friends spreading their scams like wildfire. It's basically a chain reaction of deception. So while the quantum internet might offer a more secure way to transmit data in the future, we still need to be incredibly vigilant about what we share online and how we interact with others. Strong, unique passwords and enabling two-factor authentication, using passkeys as an alternative of passwords wherever you can and being wary of suspicious links are still crucial in this ever-evolving digital landscape. Okay, so the truth is, the future of cybersecurity will likely be a combination of cutting-edge technologies like the quantum internet and good old-fashioned cyber hygiene. It's a constant race and we all need to stay informed and prepared. Now, if you want to learn more about the tools and techniques hackers use and more importantly, how you can protect yourself, make sure to check out my playlist right here. It's packed with information which will help you to stay safe and secure online. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of cyber security. Thanks for watching again and I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay secure and take care.